Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I am the founder and owner of TechViews Up and Apps for Android. And today I am going to answer a question I received on my YouTube inbox. The question is basically asking how does someone block calls on their Android device and um, how do you block SMS and stuff like that. Now there's two ways, you can go through Cure, which is a complete pain, sometimes the carriers block it, sometimes they don't. And um, it's a complete pain because you usually have to go online and go through a bunch of methods, basically jump through a bunch of hoops just to get the number on the list. That's the problem with going through that method. And also, once that number all of a sudden becomes important, now you got to get off and jump through a bunch of hoops and it's just not worth it. But there is another method and there's a couple applications on the Google Play Store, but as far as things go, the, uh, this is the number one I would advise people to use because I've been personally using it for several years now on several different phones and it's worked on every last one of them. Now, this is called Call Filter. This application, it blocks unknown calls and it can block some calls, the, the actual number. And that way, if telemarketers call you from a given number, or whatever it may be, you can just block that number or you can just block unknown calls. Now, this application is completely free, but it does have some paid stuff, subscription stuff. I've never used that. I've only used the call filter and the SMS fil filter. I've, that, that's, that's the only thing I'm really talking about. I, I have no knowledge on this, some of this other stuff but you can check that out, it's on your own. The application itself is free though. Now, and all, all, all the stuff I'm talking about is for free. Now, as far as this, there's two things that can happen. You can set it up where it could, um, it can pick up the phone and hang up without you knowing, and that will block the call, or it would transfer the, the call directly to your voicemail, as if your phone's off, and that would also block the call, but you still get a message. So in case if it's important, you got it on your voicemail. If it's not important, well, you can go your own way. So that way you're not worried about, did the thing hang up on an important call? So you, you got the mail and whatnot. So that that's, that's something I advise people to do, is make it where it can go to your voicemail, and that way you have the certainty that if it's important or not, you will get it. Now, as far as this goes, it's very easy to set up. Basically, this is the first screen. You can check what you want, add the numbers. All you have to do is go to call filter and there's a little plus thing up there and you can add the, the numbers. Or you can add the last uncommon call. From here on the wrench, the settings, you can go, and I don't have it up, but Basically, you can have it go where you select the settings on what you want it want to happen. And there's even a tutorial towards the bottom of the settings. So if you don't know how it works or, or you have no trouble, go to the tutorial and do that. Or you can even ask the developer themselves and they can help you out with their application. And these are, these are pretty good. Now, I've noticed that this does have some low, low ratings. And as this says, it may not work on all models, but with every last model that I've used, which is actually quite a few, about five or six of them, and it's working on every one of them. So I I'm honestly have no idea why some of these don't work. And I think some of these, the, the ratings, I think they want something more and you gotta really pay for something more or go to some other application. This 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 does what I just said, blocks unknown calls and and regular calls. So anyways, if you got any trouble with this, you can leave it leave the um, comment below and and I'll try to help you out. But I also advise you to go to the developer and ask them. And um, if you have any comments, this thing doesn't work for you or, or does work for you or whatnot, 
to leave it below that way everybody can see and see if it works or whatnot for you and um if you have any more questions or whatnot please feel free to email me on techviews and help or youtube or you can go ahead and ask questions on the apps for android page right here and we and i will look at it. right now i'm the only person that deals with this but you can ask me questions make sure that you do uh, this number and um the at sign and put in at for android and i will try to answer it as as best i can now if you're wondering why i'm not adding people in the circles in here i'm already maxed out i mean th this thing i've already gotten i, I don't know you know, five five thousand seven hundred seventy followers, and there's only uh, I, I, I don't know the number of, that I can have in my circles, but it's already maxed out, and it's been maxed out a long time ago. So, anyways, this has been Craig Bennett, the founder and owner of Apps for Android and Tech Reason Help. If you got any more questions, again, you know where to go, and hope you have a great day.